What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your September 2021 general reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, welcome. Again, my name is Sid. I'm going to be your tarot reader for this video. If you enjoy uh, tarot, if you enjoy spirituality uh, and this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the bell so you're notified whenever a new reading is released. And do interact with the video, comment, um, like the video, things like that. It really helps me out tremendously. If you all are not new here, welcome back, Scorpio. Thank you for your support thus far. Regardless of which group you fall in, all of your efforts and participation are greatly appreciated. If you all are interested in personal readings, you're going to head on over to SavvySentient.com. That is the only place you can purchase them. I'll be no longer using Etsy for readings. Um, yeah. <laughs> That'll be linked in the description box below, along with my direct me link, which contains all of my social media, so you can follow me everywhere. So let's get into your reading, Scorpio. During the meditation, I felt an opening of my right ear. Um, so that's my clairaudience giving me a message. And my ear was opening as if to say, you are keeping an ear out on something. You're waiting to receive some type of information about something. I also saw um, the sparrow. The sparrow uh, represents courage and caution. Um, they're extremely hardworking as well. Um, so you may want to take a look at the sparrow as a totem animal, do some research on that, but that's what showed up in the meditation. So there's something that you're waiting to hear about, okay? <laughs> I'm also getting like a little bird told me, so maybe some type of gossip you're hearing, it may involve you. I'm so late, I was really struggling to figure out like what the sparrow and the <laughs> ear had to do and that just came to me. All right, so what's the overall energy of this reading for Scorpio spirit? Yeah, um, I feel like whatever you're waiting to hear about, whatever uh, information you're, you're trying to receive, you feel like this is something that's going to take you out of self-imprisonment mode or victimization mode. This is the eight of swords in reverse. You feel like whatever you're waiting to hear is going to free you from a situation that kind of makes you feel like a prisoner, that makes you feel limited in some sort of way. All right, so let's see how that plays into the reading. Messages for Scorpio, please, spirit. Messages for Scorpio. Mm hmm. We got the Nine of Swords coming right out. You're definitely stressed out about something. Losing sleep, possibly. Mm. Yeah, we have a lot. <laughs> A lot of major arcanas here. So this is something major for y'all, Scorpio. This is something very important for you all. Let's see if that comes back out. We just fell off of the deck. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, what y'all got going on? Yeah, y'all are definitely in a situation that y'all are not very fond of. Um, it's feeling very constrictive to you. It is causing you all anxiety and overthinking. Um, some You all are stressed out about, like, if you don't get out of the situation, like, it's going to destroy everything or it's going to dr drastically change your life or negatively change your life if you don't get the news that you're waiting to hear. But this is a situation you know you need to get out of, but for whatever reason, you are stuck. But I don't feel that you're stuck because you don't want to be out of the situation. I feel like you honestly do want to be out of this situation, whatever it is. But I feel like whatever this piece of information is that you're waiting to hear about can help will help you decide how to move. 
So it's like waiting for this thing is, is keeping you stuck. But when you do get the, the news, it'll free you. You are definitely trying to, to solve the situation. You have the emperor and the chariot. So you are definitely taking control of the situation and doing everything within your power to, to make it right, to free yourself and to bring balance into the situation. But you're needing to have some type of patience or you're being patient. But I, I'm getting like, um, more so waiting than patience. It's not that you're being patient, you're waiting because you have to, but your patience is definitely wearing thin, <laughs> all right? Um, we have the death card, Scorpio energy, your energy in reverse. This dude is upside down. <laughs> like, I really feel like you're trying to prevent your life from being turned upside down. <laughs> Girl, why am I just thinking of the Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? I mean, but think about how that story went. His life got turned upside down. Like, he was going through so much shit, fighting with the kids on the playground, his mom all stressed out and worried, until one day he had to hop in the cab. <laughs> he had to hop in the cab, and it pulled up to Bel-Air. You know what I'm saying? And that's when his life changed. That's when he was able to manifest a new beginning. He was able to plant a new seed, some new stability. This is a financial windfall, the Page of Hazards. It's a manifestation, financial windfall, um, new stable beginnings or a message about stable beginnings. Some of you all are waiting to hear about a job or some type of money coming in, but your, your, stability like your home your work the things that sustain you your sustenance is currently in question due to the situation that you found yourself in and like though you're not being patient you though you're waiting you're not being patient like you definitely want to get out of this situation asapishly <laughs> all right scorpio I have to commend you for knowing that it's time to go and doing everything in your power to do that. Because a lot of people would just stay in situations that don't serve them for whatever reason. All right. If this is a romantic situation or a situation involving someone you care about, we're pulling love oracles now to see a little bit clearer what that relationship is. Okay, we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Um, for some of you all, this is somebody that you care about, and in spite of whatever it is you're going through with them, you're not going to let it change how you feel about them. You just know that you can't be a part of the situation, or you can't be um, in their life. It's like you're willing to love them from a distance, no hard feelings, but you can't be a part of whatever's happening. All right. Um, we have the photograph card. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. You may be feeling nostalgic about the relationship or, um, you know, how things used to be before you all got to this point where you like, I got to get the hell, <laughs> I got to get the hell out of here because it's not enough. You're frustrated. You lack confidence. You're self-sabotaging. You fear ego issues or jealousy could all play into what's happening here. And then finally stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. This is also tower energy. So this person may have done something to you um, that made you have to remove yourself. And it may be something that is a result of like mental illness or like alcoholism or something like that, which is why you feel like I'll still love you, but I gotta love you from a distance. Like what we're doing here, this is too much and I can't be a part of it is what I'm getting. All right, all right. Monology, what messages do we have for Scorpio? 
messages for Scorpio Monology. The energy is gaining momentum. It may seem like day after day, the the pressure, the um, the stress, the anxiety, the the impatience. It grows more and more every day in this situation. Uh, two more fell out, but don't worry. The end of a tough cycle is on the way, y'all. So hang in there. It's almost over, and don't let your past hold you back. When this is all said and done. Don't let it affect the way you handle things moving forward, whatever this is. If this is a bad job situation and you're waiting on a new job to come through, don't take this negative energy into that new job. If this is a relationship or a friendship, don't take this negative energy into new relationships and new friendships, okay? Don't let this hold you back. All right, that's cute. Moving on. Rebel messages. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. We have the lightning card. Figure shit out on your own. But I feel like you're already doing that. You're already on top of that. Also, I know the situation is stressful and everything, but have you eaten? Because you're acting like a big-ass baby. You need food in your belly, so go eat a fucking taco. Don't let stress and anxiety and all of this prevent you from taking care of your, your physical needs. Drink water. Eat. <laughs> Sleep better because you're stressed out, and I know you're not sleeping. And also, the last card says it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your fucking ass pronto. Get your head out your ass. Um, I mean, it's that's that. Get your head out your ass. Like, maybe some of you all are making this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> but, um... Overall, it looks like it's going to work out for the best. It's looking like, yeah, everything you're manifesting is going to come through. You're just needing to have a lot of, a little bit more patience in the situation. Um, but yeah, it's going to work out, friend. Don't worry. I know it's hard right now. <laughs> Advice, please, for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Too many advice for Scorpio. Okay. And let's get a postcard from Spirit. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Spirit. I think Saint Chiflet. All right. So for the advice, we have the Empress and the Son of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Okay. Hold your position. Hold on. Maintain your position. Okay. Um, growth and fertility, beauty and abundance. All of that is coming in very quickly. You're just needing to hold on a little bit longer. Um, Typically, the Seven of Wands, I read it as like a defensive energy, maintaining or standing in your power, um, and absolutely do that, but look at how it looks. It's like a flame. It's only one flame, and it's kind of like illuminating what's around it, which is not much, but you know, it's like a, um, a light in the dark, so I'm kind of getting a message of like hope with this with this card right now um so stay hopeful maintain that hope know that things are going to work out that your abundance will come in and probably quicker than you think with the sun of swords this is the knight of swords rushing in towards the abundance but just you know be patient keep hope alive don't give up you're gonna get answers to your to your issue very very soon Okay, and finally, the postcard from Spirit says, Dearest you, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. 
you will know the truth of things that, that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver of this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but the first, the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multisensory, multidimensional uh, beings. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths are here on earth where we all agree to play. Today, trust your spidey senses, read between the lines, tune into the stories behind the stories, and your world should show you miracles. Fear not, for we are right here, and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. Um, especially with the tower card coming up for you, I kind of feel like um, when there is a tower, it does something to your spiritual self. It kind of brings some type of awakening to your spiritual self, and you may be experiencing that or feeling that. You may be feeling some type of increase in your intuition. So uh, whatever the situation is, let your intuition guide you. This is something you will always be able to trust for as long as you live, all right? Let your intuition guide you. Let your intuition tell you what situations are right for you, wrong for you, which people you should not trust and to trust um, henceforth. So you won't end up in another situation similar to the one you are currently in. All right, Scorpio. So that is your reading. If it resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Personal readings at SavvySynthian.com. Until the very next time I read for you, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, Scorpio. Good luck with everything.